An anti-Semitism scandal has rocked Germany's biggest state, Bavaria. Its deputy leader, Hubert Aiwanger, has admitted to carrying an inflammatory leaflet as a teenager, but denied writing it. He's apologized for mistakes made in his youth and has been allowed to keep his job. Back to business. That's the message of the Bavarian state premier here at this election rally. He decided to keep his deputy in office, despite the accusations of anti-Semitism leveled against him. There have been calls for the leader of Germany's biggest state to fire his deputy and economy minister Hubert Aiwanger. In mid-August, a leading newspaper published a leaflet from the late 80s, full of mocking references to Nazi concentration camps and the Holocaust. Aiwanger admitted he had it in his school bag at the time. The story caused a big stir. Denying the Holocaust is illegal in Germany, as is the use of Nazi rhetoric and symbols. That's because of the atrocities committed by the Nazis during the Second World War. Aiwanger said that he found the content disgusting and inhumane, but initially brushed off accusations and didn't offer a full explanation. The German Chancellor stepped in. What's emerged so far is very distressing. Everything has to come to light. Once that has happened, as a first step and nothing has been covered up, the appropriate consequences will have to be drawn from it. Aiwanger's older brother took responsibility as author of the leaflet. Aiwanger himself answered a list of questions from his boss. Conservative Bavarian Premier Markus Söder, also an influential figure on the national political stage, after a few days said he would stick with his deputy. But anecdotes have been emerging from former classmates. From time to time, when the class was already inside and he came in, he would do a Hitler salute. He would also very often imitate those Hitler speeches in a Hitler voice, and he always wanted to get attention with it. Aiwanger himself and his supporters speak of youthful mistakes. I made mistakes as a teenager. I deeply regret my feelings were hurt by the pamphlet or other things. My apologies go to all victims of the Nazi regime, the survivors and others who perform a valuable work of remembrance. The accusations go back 36 years. I stress that I did not write the pamphlet and I distance myself from the shocking words in it. Aiwanger himself has been criticized for not showing enough remorse and instead painting himself as a victim, being treated unfairly in a targeted campaign. Bavarians are going to the polls for the next state elections in October and Germany's Nazi past is going to play a role more than 80 years on. Let's talk about this with Hannah Weiler. She's the chair of the Jewish Student Union in Germany. Thank you so much for joining us on DW tonight. It took a while, but eventually Hubert Aiwanger did apologize for what he calls youthful mistakes. Do you believe his remorse and do you accept his apology? We do definitely not accept his apologies because we believe that his apologies came too late. They came with a lot of political pressure. And I would really want to stress the point that his, um, it's not about what he wrote as a teenager, but this discussion is more about the way he as an adult is dealing with his responsibility. And the way we see him dealing with his responsibility is definitely not satisfying enough for us to forgive and forget everything. You started your own petition calling for uh, Zuda, the head of the Bavarian government, to suspend Aiwanger until allegations are investigated by an independent committee. What exactly are your demands? Our demands is to put uh, Aiwanger on pause, to give him a pause, to uh, make him take a vacation until everything is clarified, until we have all the details, until we know exactly what happened when he was a teenager, and also to see what kind of consequences he himself sees as um, important uh, to take for now. Um, besides this, we want Bavaria to develop um, a sort of, of uh, way to teach about anti-Semitism, not only connected to the Shoah, but also um, to teach anti-Semitism with a connection to the present. 
and uh, we also want to have a certain protocol of how to deal with uh, events like this if they should appear in the future again. Yeah. The head of the CDU party applauded the Bavarian leader for what he called his brilliant handling of the affair. What do you say to that? We don't believe that this was a brilliant handling. Um, the signal that is sent out to the world is that even if you're a high-level politician in Germany and you are accused of anti-Semitism, um, you can get away without consequences. This is the signal Germany and especially Bavaria are sending out into the world right now. And uh, we as young Jews in Germany cannot accept the signal. Um, we believe that Aiwanger should be suspended at least until we know more about how uh, this scripture ended up in his bag and uh, until we have more details about his connection to it. Yeah, there are uh, other members of the Jewish community here in Germany who've said that they do not accept his apology, much like you uh, don't, uh, but still think it was the right decision politically to keep Aiwanger uh, in office. Uh, do you disagree with that strongly? Do you do you understand where where that reasoning might come from? I might understand the strategical and the political decisions beside it, but again, as the chair of young unapolog unapologetic Jewish students in Germany who want uh, some sort of justice and who want to send out a signal that it's not possible to do whatever people want uh, with us um, and that consequences after anti-Semitism are needed, in that position, I believe that it was not um, the, the right decision that was made to uh, keep Aiwanger in office. Yeah. Now, more broadly, looking at, at German society as a whole, the reactions to this and, and the scandal itself, what does all of this tell you about how anti-Semitism is dealt with in Germany? After the scandal, we can, we can see something um, that we as young Jews already saw um, many, many times, but now we can see it another time very clearly. If we speak about anti-Semitism in Germany, then it's always the others. Um, if nobody wants to speak about anti-Semitism without within their own party, nobody wants to speak about anti-Semitism within their own um, biography, nobody wants to see themselves responsible for being part of the anti-Semitism in Germany. And this is exactly what we can see in this case again. I mean, Aiwanger himself um, is victimizing himself. He um, speaks about a campaign against him instead of taking responsibility and instead of admitting that he is part of the problem. That was Hannah Weiler from the Jewish Student Union in Germany. Thank you for, so much for your time. Thank you.